Hey guys, so congratulations. You are now interns. You are at the end of the journey and you are the senior most of the college of the undergraduates. And guys, there is one thing I want to say that of course, we are students to life always. We will always be students. But uh, when you are in first to final year, please you are dental students and when you are interns, then you are interns. Abhi ab doctors nahi bane ho. So call yourself in terms and be super proud of it. Everybody is going to ask you once you graduate that which batch you are. So there are two batches basically once admission and once pass out. So when somebody asks you that which batch you are you can say I am from batch 2012. For example I am from batch 2012 admission or I graduated in February 2018. You can say that way because it creates sometimes confusion that the year you were telling was the admission year or was your uh, pass out year or you can tell that 2012 to 2017. For example, my case 17 uh, results used to come late. So I passed out in Feb 2018. So this is the way you have to say it. Now you have to enjoy your stipend. You will be getting your stipends this year if done right guys. This is going to change your entire dental career. Agar aapne isme har cheez sahi kai, jo ho gaya, wo ho gaya. Be it any year, your journey has come to an like last point, and this point is like a transition from you were a student to being a doctor. You are going to be a in a professional field, super professional field. So this is a transition year. So please, if done this right, you are going to completely change your entire dental future this year you have to do maze and you have to learn and grow no marks so no tension you don't have to study for your parents for your teachers for your friends or to prove it to somebody this year is completely for you now while you are watching this video i hope your final year exams are completely over and now you are thinking about or you have decided that from which college you are going to do your internship from uh, there are various colleges you can do it of course from your own college or you can apply it for other government college or private colleges but there are uh, you know uh, rules for it like you have to get the noc signed from your college the college you want to go in might ask for some amount of money and they might not give you stipend also or depends upon the number of seats so there are various scenarios that can happen but of course you can choose to do internship from various other colleges also be it government or private so i hope you have decided that now there comes three things guys first we must be very very clear with professional life alag hoti hai, personal life alag hoti hai. we should never mix these two when i should have told this in the last BDS all the four years that while you are appearing for a viva or while you are attending to a case make sure that you entered the college for the professional basis uske baad aapke friends bane hai. be very clear with your friends that your professional and personal lives are different of course you care for them but what I mean is for example you are sitting in a viva if you answer some question you know it you answer it if you don't it's okay if your friend knows you answer it if you, it's, if you don't it's okay so simple rakho in sab cheezo ko do not complex these two do not mix these two it's very important and you must uh, when in internship focus on yourself on your appearance regarding how to upgrade it professionally be it your something you want to do with your fitness or health or you want to do with your hair or anything just focus on yourself then do not please I learned this at a very very early age of my dental career that we should never put the other dentist or the other doctor no matter who is down. For example, a patient comes to me and he says that I have a pain here, I had a treatment before I had been here, but I had a problem, the doctor was like this, like this. Now, as a point for us, like what we should do is, okay sir, okay ma'am, you have done it from where you have done it, have an x-ray, have a look at it, what the things are. Where you have done it from where you have done it, they have done it from their own work. Now, if you come to us, we will do our best to improve this thing from this stage so that it will not be retrograde, it will not be bad. 
give them the option so that is the way you do it doesn't mean that you put the other doctor down ki aapne kis dentist se karwa liya ye kaisa kaam kiya usne uske paas mat jaya karo no that is not the way you say things like that please do not put yourself in such a trap and do not downgrade yourself third do not waste your time internship is the best time to do try different things together you have to explore so that you can find out what you are interested in when you find out what you are interested in then you grow your passion into that and of course if you enjoy what you do money is a side effect it will definitely come and we all need money guys we are not doing anything for like just free so try and explore different things you do not have to time pass there are many students that you will find in internship that you know kuch log sirf uh, clinics karne aate hain like they are just focus on the clinical work kuch log sirf mds ke liye prepare karne aate hain like they bring their books along and they know that they want to do mds teesre log hote hain they just want you just they just come and explore both ki clinics bhi kar liya theek hai then they are more like इन टू फ्री टाइम दे आर मोर लाइक इट यार चार साल बहुत मेहनत कर लिया अब इंटर्नशिप में तो मजे करने हैं नो यू आर वेस्टिंग योर टाइम यू डू यू हैव टू डू बोथ वेन आई वॉज इन आचार्य भिक्षु गाइज यू वॉन्ट बिलीव दिस आई हैव द बेस्ट टाइम बिकॉज नाइन टू फोर वी यूज टू वर्क एवरी सिंगल मिनट एंड आफ्टर दैट वी यूज टू लाइक हैंग आउट एंड चिल so that was the perfect balance of what we used to do work and what we used to enjoy that was the combination we all need to bring in our lives now guys jab hum internship mein aate hain it usually happens that we might not know hame karna kya hai of course it happens with everybody mere sath bhi yahi tha but i did know ki mujhe kya nahi karna so you must be very clear कि आपको क्या क्या चीजें नहीं करनी है दैन बींग मोर क्लियर अबाउट आपको क्या क्या करना है एज यू स्ट्राइक ऑफ द लिस्ट देन यू विल सी थिंग्स क्लियरली यू नो लाइक इफ यू क्लीन द रूम वी कैन सी थिंग्स बेटर सो दैट इज हाउ इट वर्क आई वॉज लाइक आई प्रिपेयर फॉर एम डी एस आई प्रिपेयर द नोट एवरीथिंग बट वेन आई अपेयर फॉर द एम डी एस वट एवर रैंक आई गॉट एंड हाउ एवर आई गॉट इट और वट एवर मार्क्स आई गॉट आई डिसाइड दैट आई कांट एंड आई डोंट वॉन्ट टू डू दिस so i was very clear ki meko mds nahi karni hai that is the one thing ab kya karna hai wo dekh lenge so ye yahan se aap apni journey start kar sakte ho you can see you can think about ki aapko kya kya karna hai be it mds be it forensics be it some courses do you want to settle abroad just plan out few things for you and a very important thing that you have to do it for yourself prepare a table which has your strengths and weaknesses in this nobody is going to help you except you you have to be really honest and true about yourself aapke kuch strengths honge kuch weaknesses hongi related to dentistry and except dentistry in dentistry maybe you can take good impressions but aapko iups lena utne acche se nahi aata maybe you can do anterior rcts but aapko posterior se dar lagta hai maybe you can extract good teeth but aapko la dene se dar lagta hai write those down before you know after your exams final year and before the internship starts and tick it off like because you will be clear okay which department you have posted you want to focus on these also except these you know maybe you lack patience maybe you want to you have great artistic skills so write down that maybe you'd never know how dentistry can help you in growing other skills being a dentist in dentistry doesn't mean that you cannot explore other options there are so many options especially now guys so please do this this is very important in rcts you if you want to practice maybe rotary or in courses if you go to some other courses then it will help you start collecting extracted teeth take pictures pre and post treatment please make it a habit of the x ray also pre treatment post treatment maybe you have taken the x ray of working length then you can take in of obturation document it create a file which has all your cases you that will help you in your vacancy in your job or while you are searching for a clinic that is your documentation cpr and bls course you know uh, the basic life support course this is the mistake i did um, in my college there was a course but i didn't go for it but as soon as the corona era and this you know the things get moving i will definitely do this course do this course in your college it might be little cheaper 
so this is very basic course we all need to know if there is an emergency what is the basic life things a dentist or a doctor must do that is what we are for so ye wala course ab please kar lena there are some other courses that your college might offer like implants uh, i didn't do it and i thought ki it was the right choice because for me um i was not sure if uh, i really want to do it first i secondly i think um, if you are doing such an extensive course you must have patience or somewhere something to practice on so i was like this was my decision for me you can decide it for yourself whatever you decide it should be your decision and should be best for yourself read books this is the best time to invest your stipend ka thoda sa money in your books uh, you can read the book behind me it is highly recommended i have few books that i read i will share with you in the starting of 2021 that what all books i read in 2020 i uh, what i do is i search for the best books of my age so when you are in internship you will you are probably like 24 25 26 years old so choose the books that are best for those age group there are various books available like inspirational motivational non fiction but i would uh, suggest you to choose those which are like not stories but something which will add on to your skills maybe how to build a business maybe how to add more skills maybe how to utilize the time in an effective way experienced by the businessmen so that way but the choice is yours you can choose the right books which you think you want to read go to conferences and when i say conferences that doesn't mean you go to some high fi conferences which goes like off your head but some basic conferences that a bds can you know get uh, like in sync with present posters and uh, presentations there are cde points available what that means is if there are seminars of the dental council of india going on it was continuous for every week once a week every sunday but now it's like random or like maybe once in two weeks so these conferences also provide you with cde points when you get registered for yourself for your council after your graduation you know there is it's not mandatory right now but it might get mandatory this cde points indicate that we dentists are upgrading for example if a dentist the earlier batch if somebody is doing amalgam it's completely okay in certain cases amalgam is required but what if he doesn't know about composites or the new veneers or the emax crowns what what then so this is the way that uh, if we have certain cd points that is a must and it's it the cd points are given by the like valid conferences so do that and when you visit a conference there is a section where is dental materials available just see and go what are the dental materials what dental chairs are available just you know take one brochure or their card and just put it in your bag and maybe you can have it later this way you are building your contacts also start looking for clinics guys 3 months prior that is a must i did that and uh, go to a clinic in the evening for sure um, maybe just for few hours maybe just the weekends maybe once a day but this will help you a lot when you have to do is this is your call completely uh, but do this certainly and be punctual at least the clinic owner wherever you are going the head of that clinic should know that okay ye ladka ladki is punctual and he and she can tackle responsibility you never know if you are working in somebody's clinic after you graduate you get the job there only so please do that and i applied for different you know clinics or the charitables or the ngos i applied uh, like 5 to 6 daily for 3 months like almost 500 600 uh, emails and everything resume i sent but i got no reply so that doesn't mean that this should stop you because after my graduation it was on friday i guess and monday i had my job so that is the way you do it resume i have a video on that registration you have to get it done from the state of the council you have to apply it mostly online and then go you have to fix the date and time you will be going for uh, it cost about 2 to 3000 or 4000 i'm not um, exactly clear about it guys but this is the amount approx and you get the registration done for like 5 to 6 years and then you have to renew it so and provisional degree these things are basics to apply for every jr jr ke liye aap applicable ho if you have passed out for 2 years mostly 
and uh, after two years only in some colleges uh, you can apply because they have an eligibility date so you have to check that this is the main thing that you have to do and while you register for your dental council they give they hand over to you an ethics ka pamphlet and you must read that it certainly indicates few prefixes that uh, few abbreviations that dentists use like mid a member of indian dental association it's not in degree and we should not write it behind our names so there are few things that are clearly indicated in that please read that you have to submit your resume on sites be it indeed nokri facebook groups search like your state and dental vacancies like mumbai dental vacancies delhi dental vacancies kolkata dental vacancies or indian dental vacancies like that and you can also see the stories on dr dot batisi on instagram or facebook a page the 32 dr batisi because i also post some stories on uh, vacancies also yes you have to make your linkedin profile a very very must thing these things nobody is going to tell you guys because i don't know most logo ko pata nahi hota hai aadhe log batana nahi chahte hain because it might, they might think that it creates a competition but no i am thinking of making you dentist so capable as a bds that you have many options around you and you choose what you have to do it should not be your choice of leaving the country or something just because you know dentistry is got saturated because it has not there are no non clinical branches of dentistry every branch is clinical now guys i'm telling you of all the different departments what you have to do but before that this is common for all the departments please assist pg your post graduates assist them help them in impression pouring writing the medicine down clicking pictures of the patients doing patients help in thesis because that way you are bonding with them you are making contacts and you are also learning a lot of learning so no matter which branch of pg it is please assist them please be like behind them ki sir 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 ma'am 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 mujhe ye sab seekhna hai teen cheeze aapke paas hamesha honi chahiye internship mein diary pen and mobile you will always see me if we meet in some conference or course that i always have a pen and a diary with me maybe in my pocket maybe in my bag but definitely you can write down anything you can click pictures pre and post and you can you know maybe if you do not want to write the medicine down you can just click a picture of it and later write it down so that is the way these things will work you have to learn the latest techniques and wo kab hoga jab aap jaldi se apne basics and all the essential you know step by step proceed karoge the more you do anterior rct the better you will get the more you will get the posterior rct omdr biopsy ulcers how to read an opg cbct tmj how to you know see if it's clicking taking diagnosis of tmj connect the theory to the practical get your own opg get your own blood test done because you want to know your blood group maybe basically you have got this done in your physiology in the first year or pathology in the second year but um, you must know your blood group if you haven't got it done please uh, get it done opg because you must know ki aapke khud ke muh ke andar kya hai i got it done for fun and i got to know i have an impacted premolar in the third quadrant and uh, i thought it was in tori so that happens how to take an x ray how to read an iup or an x ray how to develop an x ray film because you will never always get a digital you have to make sometimes get a film especially in the government hospitals and omdr is the first thing that you have to practice when a patient enters a clinic or a hospital so back to counseling you can learn that in omdr case history taking proper case history taking now public health dentistry or the community dentistry camps mein jao jitna ho sake i was the one in my batch that i got the most of the camps done for me it was 5 to 6 at that time and that was the most of all the batchmates rcts denture scaling la jo bhi aap kar sakte ho i did more rcts in community department than in endo itself um posting ho gaya aapki rural area mein take it seriously patients hai to do it with your whole heart nahi hai to enjoy have samosas have tea party tobacco counseling must from the community dentistry you can learn the best oral surgery mein extraction name of the instrument how to hold instrument which side it is how to use it basic principles techniques post operative instructions implant agar assist karwa sakte ho impactions how to give the medications fractures la ki right techniques every technique if you can practice incision drainage 
आई वी आई एम वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट इफ यू गेट द चांस डू इट इमरजेंसी केसेस को कैसे डील करना है मे बी इट्स लुडबिग्स इन चाइना मे बी इट्स यू नो शॉक प्रोस्थोडोंटिक्स इम्प्रेशन ऑफ डिफरेंट मटीरियल्स पटी और एल्जिनेट यू हैव टू लर्न टू थिंग्स हाउ इन द मिनिमम टाइम यू गेट द बेस्ट रिजल्ट एंड हाउ इन द मिनिमम अमाउंट यू गेट द बेस्ट रिजल्ट यू डोंट हैव टू जस्ट यू नो ओवर डू योर यू टेक अ लॉट ऑफ मटीरियल्स दैट विल नॉट गो दैट इज नॉट द राइट फॉर योर क्लिनिक ऑल्सो एंड नॉट द हॉस्पिटल क्राउन कटिंग्स बी एड पी एफ एम मेटल सेरामिक जे आर जो रिलेशन आना चाहिए आई स्टिल गेट समटाइम्स कन्फ्यूज आर पी टी एंड सी डी बेसिक्स एंडो ऑन कॉन्स आपको आर सी टी ऑफ एवरी टूथ करना है मेक श्योर यू डू दैट रोटरी पोस्ट एंड कोर कॉम्पोजिट पोस्ट ऑपरेटिव इंस्ट्रक्शन कैसे देने हैं कॉम्पोजिट में शेड सिलेक्शन हाउ टू पुट अ बैरियर ब्लीचिंग इफ यू कैन डू री आर सी टी इफ पॉसिबल स्टार्ट विद डांट इट्स ब्यूटिफुली हाउ अ जी पी कम्स आउट um you will learn three main patients how to manage those with the macroglossia big tongue excess saliva and mouth breathing you know there are sprays available if anti fog sprays if you spray it on the mouth mirror uh, it doesn't get foggy so in lay on lay if you can learn from the dental uh, technicians if they are available orthodontics impressions bracket placements module change karna lagana facial analysis you know how the face uh, proportions work basic treatment process what are the steps interproximal stripping kya hoti hai kaise karte hai post operative instructions just the basics of it but you must know it what are aligners just go deep into it be with the pgs again perio mein flap crown lengthening implant right techniques of scaling because you know there if we put too much pressure on a tooth with our instrument there is a sharp sound which is an indication that we are doing it wrong um hygiene instructions we must know if we you know if a patient is asking you that is a manual toothbrush right or rotary i have a video on that i will link it up rinsing is better or spitting we never know this we are not taught this so your basic hygiene instructions must be clear you can see the videos i will link them pedodontics uh, pulpectomy pulpotomy apexification apexogenesis spit and fissure sealants fluoride gel application and most importantly the right way to treat and manage kids we don't have to be rude with them we just need to learn the right technique because if we are wrong with them if we do something wrong to them they will have an impression for a lifetime and we will be responsible for it and get yourself two injections guys tetanus before you leave college and hepatitis uh, you know all the doses booster dose included these two injections are a must for every dentist so this is all about internship guys wish you all the very best i have shared with you everything that i could i made sure that i do not miss anything i know this year especially is difficult because you are not dealing with the patients i will try to make another video for that although i tried really hard to search for the things but this time guys i think the only thing that you can do better is be clear on exactly what do you want and what do you want so that you can take actions when the time is right so i'm um, proud to be a dentist and uh, stay safe stay healthy wish you all the very best this is batisi signing off bye